Hi, in this video we're going to look through the first two units of the module permission set groups. I'll show you how to configure your Trailhead Playground and explain some of the difficult concepts so you're able to earn this badge with confidence. I've added bookmarks so you could watch this whole video or you could just jump to the specific spot that you have a question about. To get started, I want to talk a little bit about the first unit, get started with permission set groups. This unit took me a little bit of time to get my head around it. In my personal opinion, it doesn't do as nice of a job explaining why permission set groups are as important as they are. And I'd like to give my own two cents on that. I'm recording this at the end of November, 2021. If you're looking at this some other time in the future, my hope is, is that this unit will be updated. Um, and if it is just, you know, and I don't know about it, please let me know and I'll, I'll cut a new video. Permission set groups are incredibly important because as a user, you need to have as little access to the Salesforce instance as possible because that's the best security practice. You need the minimum amount of information in order to do your job. However, if you don't have enough information and you can't do your job as a user inside of a company using Salesforce, you are incredibly frustrated. And the person that you will direct your frustration to is the Salesforce administrator. Permission set groups help you manage the groups within the organization that need a little bit extra access than what their role or their profile gives them. And making it important for you to know exactly how permission sets are being used within the org and to make sure that each person has what they need so they're not going crazy. Um, if I sound emotional about this, it's because <laughs> I've had this experience, you know, where like I don't have access to the information I need. And dear God, finding the right person to say, please give me this permission set. I need to do something here. It, it's difficult and frustrating. And okay, <sighs> know how permission set groups work and be able to use them effectively and spend time in making sure that you really understand these concepts very clearly. I feel like this image doesn't do a great job. Basically what this is saying is if you have three people and there's three permission set groups, you're gonna to have to do nine assignments. And it, wouldn't it be nicer if you took those three groups and made them into one, and then you only had to do three assignments, one for each person. I don't know why price books here wasn't explained. Price books is the list of products within the organization and their associated prices. Okay, that's what a price book is. Do be sure to read through this and understand the concepts. Uh, look at some of these additional resources. Jumping ahead now to the next unit, create a permission set group. In this unit, what we're gonna do is essentially create permission sets, create permission set groups, and create users. And then we're gonna assign those permission set groups to users. And, and I, I wish that was built up a little bit clearer at the beginning here. Okay, let's get into this and create permission sets. What we're gonna do is from setup in the quick find, type permission sets and select permission sets. Click new for label, you're gonna type in sales order for license, keep it as none, and then you're gonna save the permission set. Okay, so you're gonna do the search for permission, you click on permission sets, you're gonna to come to this page, click new, and then you're gonna enter in the information based off of the label and API name, and then click save. At this point, all we've done is just created a permission set and a name, but we haven't given it any logic. So it, at this point, doesn't have anything like in it, right? So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add permission to activate orders. So in find settings, type orders and select activate orders. This is the find settings bar. I don't really like going this way, honestly, because I like to see like the setting, the apps and the system, and then like going like, it's seeing that hierarchical relationship of app systems and then like digging down to finding that. And I feel like doing this way of going about it, of of typing orders, right? And then bringing that up and then clicking orders, right? This That's going into the object settings. And I, I realize it's the same thing. The other way to go through this, not using search would be to click app permissions and then clicking here, edit, and then clicking on, and then clicking activate or orders. And I've already got that enabled here. And now we're gonna add permission to create and delete orders to that same, to the same permission set that we've already created called activate orders. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to find settings, click orders, search for orders, 
And here we're doing this on the object settings. And then we're gonna click edit and enable create and delete object permissions and click save. So at this point, you've created your first permission set for the activate orders and you've assigned the permissions for what it's able to do. Step two, create this new permission set called sales contracts. So it's the same process. You're gonna go for permission sets, click new, sales contracts. I've got it here, it's already made up. Then you're gonna add permission to read, create and edit and delete contracts in the find settings type contracts, then select contracts. And again, I just want to point out the limitations of this fine settings thing. We're actually doing this on the, on the object settings. So the other way of going around, do, so you could go this way. I just want to show this way also, because I feel like this is a, a more intuitive way for a learner. So let's find that guy. Where are you? There it is. We can click into it. And then we click edit and we're going to select Read, create, edit, delete. Read, create, edit, delete, and click save. Okay, now you've created your two permission sets, which is awesome. For some reason, we're now in the middle of this flow of creating users. I, I would rather have us we created the users before or after, but not separating the permission sets and the permission set groups, because they're really one and the same. But you're gonna go ahead and create users. I don't know if, I th I think by this point, you probably are familiar with this, right? You're going to click lose users, users. You're going to click new user, enter in the information. Be sure to select the user license and profile that's selected and click save. But I think you've got that. Create a permission set group from setup and quick find type permissions and then select permission set groups. So let's do that. Permissions. And we're gonna type select permission set groups. Click new permission set group. So I've already done this, but I'll show you what this looks like. You're clicking new all the way up here in the far right. You're gonna enter in the label. The API name automatically gets filled in. I always like to put a description here, even if it's not required by Trailhead, just to get my brain thinking in terms of like, right, what's the business reason I'm actually doing this technical stuff? Um, okay, this is to create a permission set and what I entered in was to manage sales orders and sales contracts permission sets, right? So that way somebody else can come in afterwards and see what this permission set does, what this permission set group does. And now you're gonna add the permission sets to this group. To do that, under permission sets and groups, you're gonna click add permission set. You click add permission set and then this brings up the option to select the available permission sets that you're then gonna include in this group. Once you've selected sales contracts and sales orders, you can click add and then you are done with that. Okay, this next part is pretty straightforward. You're gonna add users to the group. You're gonna to go to the, the sales processing permission set group, click manage assignments, and then select the users that you want to ass assign which is Eric Jackson and it gives you the option to tells you to try to do Andrew Singh. So that way you see, you get the error, you get the experience of what the error looks like. That's important. So let's jump ahead to the hands-on challenge, add a permission to a permission set group. What we're going to do is we're going to enable an app permission and a permission set. So the permission set is sales orders. So we're going to go to our permission sets, sales orders on the app sales, so app permissions, click edit, and the app permission we're going to give it is edit activated orders, and click save, and click save. That's it, let's check the challenge.